Hi there, this is Anup. Today we are going to talk about July Patch Tuesday. Windows 10, Windows 11 patches. What are the improvements coming up with Windows 10, Windows 11? What are the fixes coming up with Windows 11, Windows 10 patches? July patches. How do you deploy the patches? July latest cumulative update patches using SSEM and Intune and we will also check whether there is any zero day vulnerability, what is the mitigation for that vulnerability, if there is any, what are the other vulnerabilities announced with this July patch Tuesday and which is the Windows version going out of support pretty soon. We are going to discuss all these things in this video. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and check this out. So let's quickly check July 2023 Patch Tuesday updates. 11th of July is Patch Tuesday for 2023 and we are going to check whether there is any zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft announced. What are the updates on Windows 10 11 patches? We will also discuss about fixes, non-issues and improvements. Then we will check Intune and SSEM method to deploy July 2023 Patch Tuesday updates. July Patch Tuesday is coming out with six zero day vulnerabilities. Microsoft has published six zero day vulnerabilities as part of July 2023 Patch Tuesday. As per the reports from Microsoft Security Response Center, there is one zero day vulnerability that is SVE 2023-36884 which is publicly disclosed and exploited. This zero day vulnerability is related to Office and Windows HTML remote code execution vulnerability. This is also associated with Microsoft Defender for Office. So this is publicly disclosed as well as exploited as per Microsoft's analysis and investigation. And there are other five zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft announced during the July 2023 Patch Tuesday. These are those five vulnerabilities. Some of them are platform elevation of privilege vulnerability and smart screen security feature bypass vulnerability. Windows error reporting service related vulnerabilities and sign drivers related vulnerability etc etc. These are the build number details of Windows 10 and Windows 11. So you can see Windows 11 22H2 build number is 22621.1992 and 21H2 build number is 10.0.22.0.0.0.2176 and the build number for Windows 10 22H2 is 10.0.19.045.3208 and for Windows 10 21H2 it is 10.0.19.044.3208 and if you look at the KB articles, you would be able to see LTSB KB articles for Windows 10 over here. These three are, these four are LTSB KB articles for Windows 10. This is Windows 10 1903 or later. And this is the KB for Windows 10 22H2 and that is KB 5028166. This is for Windows 10 version 1903 and later. The other LTSB KB articles are KB5028168 that is for 1809 LTSB. 1607 LTSB KB article is 5028169 and 1507, 1507 KB article is 5028186. And for Windows 11 22H2, the KB article is KB5028185. For Windows 11 21H2, the KB article is KB5028182. Let's check what are the improvements coming to Windows 11 with July patch. Let's check Windows 11 22H2 improvements or new features. I'm not going to read all the updates in this video. 
but i'm going to talk about only few of them and then you can refer to the entire list from the description of the video this is one of the important thing which i am excited about microsoft account notification barging on the start menu that is going to be available after this update once you install this update the badging is going to be available for 22h2 windows 11 devices there are some user experience improvements in terms of outlook and additional language support available for live captions new vpn status icon is also coming to 22h2 once you install this patch display seconds in the clock so right now in the clock you can see only the hour and minute now microsoft is giving an option to add seconds also and there are some improvements in the phone link application etc etc so most of these updates are part of moments feature Microsoft announced a couple of months back in May. Now for 21H2, which is which is going end of support in October. So 21H2 is going to go end of support in this October for some of the variants. More details are available in the description of the video. But there are some improvements in 21H2 as well. Those are basically MDE, Microsoft Defender improvements. There are a lot of new features and improvements added to Microsoft. Microsoft Defender for 21H2 operating system and then terminal settings default behavior will be changed after installing 21H2 July patch. It adds let's Windows decide as a default option. There are some desktop windows manager improvements also for 21H2 version. I think all these improvements are part of 22H2 already. Now let's go to the next slide and see what are the fixes which are coming to Windows 11 with July patches. Latest cumulative updates. One of the main thing is at least for enterprise admins in tune push notification issues are fixed with this patch update. There were some BitLocker issues those were also fixed file explorer issue is also fixed and then monthly scheduled task not running issue that is also fixed with this particular windows 11 july patches print spooler issue is also fixed and there are, there were some there are some group policy issues that is also fixed with this update so again I'm not going to go through all the details of fixes but you can refer to the link in the description of the video to get more details what are the known issues with july patches basically these are the issues which are still there but microsoft provided some work around for these issues the main intention of this slide is basically to tell you that these issues are not resolved with july patches you can check this known issues from learn.microsoft.com windows message sender and then you can also check this from microsoft admin sender microsoft 365 admin center windows release health tab so let's check windows 10 fixes improvements and some known issues improvements very less similar to windows 11 21 h2 uh, some differences as you can see over here this line but apart from that everything is same and then let's look at the fixes fixes you can see fixes are also less if you compare it with windows 11 fixes but some of them are same for example this one this one this one and even this 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 most of these fixes are same for windows 11 and windows 10 you can get more details in the description of the video if you like to read more about these fixes etc and these known issues you can see some outlook known issue and then croatia currency issue all these are not fixed yet but microsoft has provided some work around for these issues this is how you can deploy july 2023 patches latest cumulative updates and dot net patches etc using sscm if your clients are managed by sscm you can go to SCM console as you can see over here and then you can use different methods to create patch packages and deploy it to Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices. You can use some of these search keywords over here to select the patches if you want. Otherwise you can use ADRs etc etc. So very detailed video about SCM patching process is available over here. Click on the i button in 
YouTube will get that video. So let's look at Intune. In Intune also, there are different ways to deploy 2023 July patches for Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you want to expedite the patches, then you can use expedite option. Again, more details are available in this i button. If you click on the i button in YouTube, you will get a list of videos that explains Intune patching process end to end. If you want to expedite, you can use this method to expedite the patches for zero day vulnerabilities or something like that. But if you want to use the normal deployment cycle, you don't need to create different policies every month. One policy will cater the patch scenarios from Intune and Intune uses Windows update for business for patching but SSEM uses WSUS for the patching. There are some scenarios where you need to download the patches manually July 2023 patches manually. This is the website you have to go to if you want to download it manually and then use the search keyword something like 2023-07 over here and click on search button so that you will get the list of patches patches if you click on the download option over here you would be able to download the patches now that you have seen all the details about july patch tuesday windows 10 windows 11 patches non issues with the patches vulnerabilities fixes improvements all these things we have discussed in this video hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around